All right. So we're going to squeeze in a little more to today's session. I mean, it was five, six, seven. It was eight files, and it only turned out to be uh, two and a half hours. So that tells me it's just not enough time. we got to get at least three hours before we call it quits today. I couldn't tell how long we had uh, in the actual videos because I had played more than three hours of game time, but a lot of that time was lost due to uh, game crashes. So I didn't know. Anyway, let's keep going. Let's keep rolling. Us, Cleo, and a Gandhi? Really? Holy shit, there's a lot of animals underneath the ice here. Beluga whales, narwhals, more narwhals, dolphins. Well, eventually we'll get submarines and we'll be able to kill all that shit, but for now, whatever. I still don't know why this hammerhead won't leave that tile. Maybe he's. he has to be stuck. <laughs> That's right, we had our exploring boat over here. Well, keep exploring, sir. Show me what is around this island. Probably nothing. But it's worth a look. Wow, Tibet has a big military. Look at that. Alright. Oh, there's more islands over here. Interesting. Eighty-eight gold for something that costs over a thousand beakers. How about no? You're really turning out to be a bitch. Wow, she has seafaring, alphabet, military. She actually has some text that we don't have. Then again, we have a lot of text she doesn't have. So, I wonder how fast she's t she's uh, researching. Because we got five seventy-seven. She's probably somewhere similar. To you that, should actually. hammer your iron when it is blowing hot. All right, we now have light swordsman. This is very important. It's uh. 20% bonus to city attack. That is just awesome. And I'm sure there's some hero units over here and blah, 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 blah. Rhinoceros Rider. There we go. Now we can train Rhinoceros Rider. So at 4,400 BC, we can finally train a Rhinoceros Rider, and it's only got six strength. I mean, that's just crap. I'd rather get a Light Swordsman with seven strength. Oh, why does this suck so bad? <laughs> ah, whatever. So we're leading towards siege warfare. That's nice, but someone's someone's already got that because they already built that uh, siege world wonder. Oh, there we go, giant squid. Arr. Is he gonna attack us this time? Maybe. Oh, we have iron. Good. More iron. Oh, platinum actually. Two sources of platinum over here. Cool. And some iron. Very nice. So this starting position was, uh, well, it looked kind of crap at the beginning. I liked, when I couldn't see much, it looked like an interesting spot because it was like at the, between two, two oceans or two seas, but it turned out to be just, you know, not that important of a location. And the only thing I could see was uh, some almonds over here and some mushrooms. I couldn't really see anything else, but now we can see it is actually surrounded by good resources. So this starting position was pretty good. And that stupid sea monster won't attack. Come on, come on, man. I'm waiting for it. Still won't attack. Alright, we finished a meeting hall in Oxum. Let's go ahead and actually build something. We can do a world wonder. We can do Swazi culture. Let's do that. Then 
after that, we can do something else. We can do bull leaping. You know, we can't. I uh, can just do some regular old buildings, I guess. Any production buildings? Yeah, a lead mine. Okay. Food. Yeah, do some food. Gold. Sure, get some gold buildings going. Why not? Smuggler's shanty. I don't think so. I didn't mean to click on that. It looked it looked like an orchard or something. Anyway, why don't we head this way? Oh, look at this. An island with copper. We might have to send someone out there. Okay, you got a deer or something. Good for you. You're still growing. You have a long way to go before you can grow. God damn. Oh, we can finally do rope and shit. Let's link that up. Oh, finally we can do this stuff. I guess finally because we got our road built over here. Uh, get rid of the temple, put this in there, and then let's put the temple after it. Meeting Hall, Shaman Temple, Swahili Culture, no, not Swahili, Swazi Culture, Cooper, Almonds, yeah, yeah, we're building good stuff. Just no world wonders, well, except for Swazi Culture. Can you build any wonders? No. Useless, can you build any wonders? No. Useless. Oh well. <coughs> Let's explore this little island over here. Oh, who's this? This has to be Ziangu. Yeah. Alright, we killed a mammoth. Songston Gompo has made peace with who? Red Cloud. Oh, psh. Who cares? Red Cloud. Nobody cares about Red Cloud. He's at the bottom of the list. We have no access to these guys. We should probably go ahead and ask them for some open borders so we can travel through their lands. Wait. Worst enemy of Cleopatra. Alright. Never mind. We won't even take an embassy anyway, but I don't want to piss off Cleopatra if we can avoid it. God, that music is so annoying. I don't want to piss off Cleopatra if we can avoid it. <sighs> but this does actually look like a decent spot for a town. There's not a whole lot there, but it would give us uh, a stepping stone into uh, whatever's over here, this continent. I'm surprised he hasn't colonized it yet. Eh, whatever. Oh, oh, careful. The Filipinos are researching the wheel. You guys, you keep your wheel over there, okay? <laughs> be something we need. Can you build any wonders? No. Alright. Uh, can you make production buildings? No. Food buildings? There you go. Gold buildings. Uh, shearing barn? Yeah, get some wool. Actually, do that first. Wool is really important. Oh, don't want that smuggler shanty. God damn it, it looks like a fucking... Looks like a bazaar. 
Uh, let's do the town watch, caravan post, get some beakers, llama trainer. Sure, whatever. Get a fucking llama trainer. And then grove, sculptor, roads, stables. All this shit is good. There you go. Oops. There you go. Oh, there we go. We can't go in there. Because we're, we're not at war. So I have to go around the long way. It's fine. Alright, you finished a building. Congratulations. How long is your queue? Still got some stuff to do. How long is your queue? You got stuff to do as well. Everyone's got stuff to do. That makes me happy. Yeah, yeah, everyone's got stuff to do. Alright, good. He who loves practice without theory is like the sailor who boards ship without a rudder and compass and never knows where he may cast. Alright, well there's the great lighthouse that we did not get. Ah, oh, Jesus. Plus two trade routes in all coastal cities. That is so strong. I wish we had gotten that. Oh, well, at least we do harbors now. Harbors are awesome. They do a little bit of crime, a little bit of pollution, but they also give uh, some extra trade uh, route yield, and they also give some health. So that's very important. Waste to sea. Uh, no, I don't care. one size six. Oh my god, it's taken forever. You want falconry, which is 1,200 beakers, and you want it for 200 bucks. I don't think so. Finish the production buildings, that's good. Doesn't unlock anything new, unfortunately. And nothing you can really build here that's amazing. This will give some food, some food. Okay, what about food? 14 turns. Well, I'll queue it up, but we'll see. Health. Actually, we'll put the health in there before the temple. The health. More health, more health, 
more health, and then the temple. And then that. Because the temple will unlock some other buildings which will give us food as well, so... Might as well. Alright, you're at the end of your production queue. Let's take a look at what we can do. Road signs, of course. Get an extra hammer. No food buildings, but there is a science building with the harbor. And that's about it, really. I should start investing in some watchtowers, but it's not the end of the world. So we won't. Okay. Any health buildings? No. Let's go to units, then. Uh, I want archery units. How do we do just archery units? Defense, military, hero, mounted, siege, civilian, worker, water, air, land. Wow. Um, can't do just archery units. Okay. But yeah, essentially I want to build some archers. That's it. And it looks like we have all the bonuses we can get without bull leaping. So that's cool. And they're really cheap. Two turns. We'll build, I don't know. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll get like ten of them or something. Admire a small ship, but put your freight in a large one. For the larger the load, the greater will be the profit upon profit. Okay, and we can now build uh, shipyards, which also add hammers. They don't tell you that they add hammers, but they do actually add hammers. So let's go ahead and build those, especially here where we have nothing better to do. Uh, we'll do it after the harbor. Yeah, it's going to add five hammers. I mean, who the f actually, we'll put that at the very front of the queue, because five hammers is a big deal. And we'll Put some archers back in there. Yeah, five hammers. Come on, man. Five fucking hammers. You know what? Just... What? We can't do a... Why can't we do it here? Why can't we do it here? Are we missing a building for it? Hold on. What are we missing? Doesn't say. What are we missing? Could it be one of these buildings? Sculptor, toy, brass instrument, market, grocer. I don't think so. Whatever, just queue in the harbor. We'll get that uh, ship thing eventually. Hey, you can do it. You can do a shipyard. It's six hammers. Put it at the beginning. Fucking six hammers there. Not gonna miss out on six hammers. You can do it too. Five or uh, Yeah, five hammers. Of course. It takes precedence over everything else because it's six hammers here. Holy shit. Sculptor's Workshop, um, how about we get, uh, six hammers instead? Sound good? Why can't we do it over here? It's not even the list. What in the world? It has to be in the list. This is the list of buildings that we can build here. It's not in the lists. What the fuck? I don't know what's going on in Axum. Oh well, that's not uh, on the coast. It can't do it. It's not on the coast. It can't do it. You're on the coast. Can you do it? No, you have to be size 6, I think. Yeah, you can't do it. Oh well. Whatever. I mean, I know it requires a shipwright, but I'm pretty sure we have a shipwright in Axum. Uh, you're still at war with Cleo, so I can't do it. Sorry. Alright, we have a Shaman Temple here. Let's see if that unlocks anything interesting. Any hammer buildings? Nope. Food? Yes. There we go. And then after that, I want uh, storage. Hmm. 
what else can we do that'll help food? Anything that gets rid of sickness will help food. Actually, it doesn't matter. No, it won't. Only once it grows will it matter. Whatever, let's focus on it anyway. Can't hurt. Mecca was taken by the Zulu. Holy shit. Fucking Zulu, man. Guys are crazy. Why can't I build a shipyard here? I'm so confused. Why can't I build a shipyard here? So yeah, the Zulu are going to completely wipe out Arabia. They don't even have writing yet. The Zulu are just doing all this with no writing. Alright, we're healed up. That's good. for free. Sorry, dude. I love how when they ask for something for free, uh, it doesn't affect your relations at all. But if you ask them for something for free, they call it an arrogant demand. God damn it, everyone is finishing their shipyards and I can't build one here. Ah, oh. <laughs> Why not? Do I really need something like a, I don't know, a cooper or something? Maybe for a shipyard? Does it tell me in here? Buildings. Coast, requires city of size 6, requires shipwright. I have all that. God damn it. My ships should probably come back. Oh, I can upgrade. I can upgrade in uh, hostile waters. We're at war with these guys, and we can still upgrade. Interesting. Okay, so welcome back from another crash. Uh, we have iron now. Hooray. And our magically upgraded ship. Come on, camera, rotate. There we go. Magically upgraded ship is about to kill a canoe. I know all this because it crashed after I killed the canoe. Aha! Take that canoe, you little bastard. I forget what else we were doing. We were doing something important. Oh, you got a lead mine going there. Mm. Whatever. Actually, we should probably switch that to an iron mine, since there's iron right next to you. Uh, da, 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 da. Is there an iron mine somewhere? Oh, now you can do the ship, right? Shipyard. So don't ask me why I couldn't do it earlier. I was complaining about not being able to build the shipyard, but now we can do it. Where's my iron mine? Requires iron mine. Well, show me the fucking iron mine and I'll build it. Damn it. Anyway, at least we can get a shipyard in here finally. That was strangely missing. Actually, we're, we're going to skip on these archers because we should have light swordsmen ready to go very soon here. Uh, I think that's all the upgrades I really need. Can't build any wonders. All right, let's get some light swordsmen. Or have we not linked up the iron yet? Yeah, we have. There we go. Okay, light swordsmen. We have all the bonuses we can possibly get, except the bonus you get from mercenary camp and the bonus from bow leaping. But I don't want mercenary camp, and I can't do bow leaping. 
So, uh, yeah. What is this? Swazi Tracker Recon Units. Eh, whatever. Let's get our light swordsmen going. Let's build a few of them. Oh, I also want to do a healer in there. So let's put him in the stack somewhere. Like, near the top. Oops, nope. Didn't mean to click on you, dude. Leave me alone. Javelin, archer, 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 archer. What do you got in here? Stone maceman, javelin, spearman, spearman, archer, archer, galley, and something else. And a settler. All right. Whatever. Killed something. Hmm. 3,000 beakers for 300 gold. How about... You still don't even want an embassy, but you're asking for shit. You're an idiot. I killed something over here. Whatever. Go back to my territory so I can upgrade you. I don't know why I could upgrade this guy away from our territory, but we could, so whatever. Defenses from Bombay are still bombarding us, but they're barely even scratching our 6 health, or 6 strength, or whatever you want to call it. You have not yet upgraded. There you go. What can we build here now? Hammer buildings? Uh, copper mine? Okay. Can we just buy that? 4,000 gold. Uh, no. We'll build it. That's fine. What about food? No food. Gold? Um, shearing barn? Sure. Sure, sure. All those. About health. Sure, 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 all those. But first and foremost, we're going to put that storage pit in there. It's only one turn. Uh, culture building, also good. Furrier, eh, whatever. Trails, definitely. Definitely, all these are definite. Yes, of course, of course. We'll skip the town, the village hall, because we'll probably be able to do the second tier one pretty soon. Hope you don't take too much damage from that storm. Shipyard is done. Oh, the barbarians have a town watchman. That is fucking amusing as all hell. I can't even express how amusing that is that they have a town watchman. Because that will eventually upgrade into a policeman. Barbarian policeman. I like it. Constructed sand paintings, butchery, sculptor, harbor, sand paintings, seal maker, harbor. Wow. What can we do here these days? Nothing. Nothing. A little bit.
Alright. Keep working on it. Get that population up to six pretty please. Let's head on down to the Zulu and see what they are up to. Oh, you can't upgrade there? Can you upgrade over here? I assume you can upgrade anywhere. I don't know why you can't upgrade there. Oh, probably because we don't have a ship right there. Whatever. Lead mine is almost done. When can we build the iron mine? There it is, iron mine. Yes, do it right now. Then we can do the ironsmith. That's a ton of hammers that we're just missing out on. There we go, now we can upgrade it. Hey, bingo. Alright, Ancient Ballistics. This allows the light crossbow, which I think is the first upgrade we get for our archers. And some other random bullshit that we can't really, don't really care about. Flaming arrows, that's kind of cool. Sulfur, yeah. You can just heal up. Oh, we have sulfur. Oh, we built right on top of sulfur. Okay. Borders expanded, very nice. You're finishing your first light swordsman, that's good. Nothing else we can really build here. So keep on it. Get up on it. All right, our swordsman is here. City attack, city attack, city attack. So he's going to be huge in attacking cities. Plus 70%. Nice. So let's get them over here. We might as well just get our army ready over there. Uh, someone built Klamath Culture. That's fine. Head on down this way. See what's up in Arabia. See if they're still getting conquered. I bet they are. I bet they're getting heavy pressure down here from the Zulus. The Zulus do not seem very friendly. At all. Okay, what's up, Zulu? What's up? Size 9 town here. Town watchman. Alright, no walls or anything, but... Whatever. Okay, you're building stuff. Good for you. Uh, I think the graveyard unlocked some other buildings. Let's take a look. Nothing like that. Nothing for food, and nothing for gold. So it did unlock the stele and something else. We don't have a storyteller's hut? Oh my god, how do we not have a storyteller's hut? Oh, sometimes, Shen, sometimes. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Keep on rolling. Okay, our healer is here. 
Come on down. Okay, let's go check out more Zulu lands. They have another town over here. And let's see if we can upgrade our archers. Should be able to. There we go. Apparently, see, this is a situation where I've had automatic upgrade turned on. And we've had the tech for like a turn and a half now, and yet they didn't upgrade. And it's not like we can't afford it. We have six grand. So it's just not working. Sometimes it just doesn't work. Same thing. Didn't work down there either. Oh, well. I don't mind doing it manually. It's just a little tedious. All right. Uh, Egypt is about to pass us in score. They might be teching really fast. I don't know. What's up, Egypt? No, we're not going to join your war. You got anything for us? Let's see. Alphabet, military, glass blowing. Tribal, state church, garbage anywhere, no borders. Oh, those are mine. So she doesn't have tribal. It's hard to tell what civics she has because they're all just one little sliver and you can't really mouse over it very well. But she doesn't have any of those. Okay, we unlocked Circus Maximus, the Hippodrome, Culture Hittite, and Chariot Workshop. Okay, don't really want any of those, to be honest. Alright, our Light Crossbowmen are done. So they're, they are 6 strength instead of 5 strength. The archers are only 5 strength. Um, so they're a little tougher. And they look pretty cool. Alright, what's up over here? And they have a revolt going on. What's with your revolt, Zulu? Sausage shop. Good choice. Good choice. Platinum mine. No, no, no. Let's do the ironsmith. Five more hammers. Sounds good. Caravan post. Ooh, that's just one turn. One turn. Throw all this shit up. If it's just one turn, man, throw all this shit up. This shit is good. Chariot workshop. Get some hammers out of that. Put this at the end. Alright, what was that? We discovered obsidian. Where? No. Where? Beneath the rims of old volcano near Axum, source of obsidian. Yeah, but where? God damn it. There is no obsidian around here. What are you talking about? This is the icon for obsidian. God damn it. That's platinum. So, I don't know what they're talking about. Whatever. Still killing stuff. Ah, swordsman finished again. Good, good. Moving to the 
front line. I wonder if Gandhi knows that he's the front line. Do you think he knows? Alright, before we go nuts with these things, really we can't build chariot workshops here? What is required for that chariot workshop? That's interesting. Because we built one in Axum. We can't build one in Pichon. There we go. Chariot workshop. Requires chariotry, wheelwright, horse trainer, or zebra trainer. Alright, so we don't have a horse trainer or a zebra trainer up here, and I don't think we can build them. No, we cannot. Okay, so just keep on building as you are, sir. You're doing a fine job. Ishikari here probably has a horse trainer because they're right next to some horses, so we'll have to build one there. So, you want me to declare war on the Egypt? I don't think so. You want shamanism for 50 bucks? I don't think so. Hey, we got a subdued small water crocodile. Don't really care about Master Hunter there. Could go for the mascot. Uh, Wonders of the Deep would get us some beakers. go here and get some beakers out of it because we have our uh, academy there so the academy will amplify the number of beakers we get they'll make them more valuable light swordsman has arrived just chill oh yeah let's queue in the chariotry shop here or whatever it's called yeah, Cherishy Workshop. Two turns. Throw it in. Put the harbor in there. Uh, Chalk Pit is just not that amazing. It adds sickness, and it adds one extra uh, spoiled food, but it gives a tiny bit of gold. So it's just... I wish I could just right-click it and tell it not to show up anymore. That'd be nice. You're building important things? Sort of. We could do a Hippodrome. It's a form of entertainment, which would give mounted ex mounted units more experience when they're built, but it also takes hammers away from the city, so I'm not... Oh, I, I know it's a complete surprise, but uh, the game crashed again. It's not actually the game crashing, it's the game overloading the video memory of my video card, which is a one gigabyte video card, but... Oh well. Alright, you need to heal up over there. A mausoleum. I think we finished our ironsmith. Yes, we did. What are you up to? Sausages. Ah, triumph column. Plus 10% great general emergence, plus 50% military unit production. That's actually really useful. Uh, but uh, you are actually doing a barracks down there. You're doing a barracks. Why don't we put the uh, column up there and it can keep on doing barracks. I mean, it can keep on doing units. So let's get rid of the swordsman. We'll do the column and then we'll do some swordsman. Bingo. What's up, dude? You want shamanism? 81 gold. No, I don't think so. Thanks, though. See you later. Another swordsman has arrived. Good. Mausoleum and Gondar. 
Gondar's growing quickly. Alright, we have a uh, level of. <laughs> Damn it, Egypt just captured another city. Uh, we have level 5 city over here. So, what can we build here now? Probably nothing amazing. Nope. Nope. Yeah, nothing at all. So, just keep on building whatever you're building. Hurry up and grow. making sure nobody's on food focus because we don't need it anymore. You're still on food focus. God damn it. People of Pichon celebrate as the latest caribou hunting season has brought in a rich harvest. Gain some food. Cool. Okay, our bear has arrived in Gondar, so we're going to build a Myth of the Bear. Why not? Let's get some extra beakers out of it. Okay, Mr. Trireme, let's go take a look at the Zulu lands and see what's up. Gandhi's still shooting my ships, but uh, yeah, my ships are pretty awesome. Sausage shop, stable, sculptor's workshop, carnival, whatever. Great, so, yep. Uh, more crashing, it's fun, it's always good. I like crashing, crashing's great. It's a good source of fun. Well, you guys missed about four turns, but nothing really happened. We're just, just building shit. Uh, we discovered ports, and ports, for some reason, can be built in cities that are also allowed to build harbors. Uh, it's another situation where the mod is not really designed very well, or they need to work on it. Like, here's a harbor, and here's a port. But if you hover over the port, it says, replaces the harbor. Replaces the harbor. So why is it still letting me build a harbor? I can still queue it up. Look, there's the harbor. Shouldn't be able to do that. And there's lots of other buildings like that, too. Anyway, let's queue in some of these, uh... <sighs> these buildings are so pointless. These are replacements for earlier buildings. Um, this one replaces grass huts and lean-tos. This replaces mud huts and bone huts. This replaces pueblos. This replaces hogans. But it doesn't... It says it's going to add two hammers, but it doesn't actually add two hammers because all it's doing is it's destroying the old building, which already gave you two hammers. So at the end of the day, what it's doing is it's giving you one health, one unhealth, so that cancels out. It's nothing. I don't know why it shows both. Essentially, it's not doing anything other than eating more food and bringing more culture. So it's useless. This one, eating more food, more culture. Useless. And it adds crime. This one... A little more culture. No reason to build it. This one, a little more culture. No reason to build it. It says it's going to add a hammer and a gold, but it doesn't because the building it replaces already adds the hammer and the gold. So, whatever. Lots of little buildings like that that need work in this mod. <laughs> go. This guy's running from me. There he is. Still shooting my ships, are you, Gandhi? You're not gonna get anywhere with that. God damn, he has a lot of units just sitting around doing nothing. Circu. The fuck is that? Looks like a massive archer of awesomeness with a huge bow. It's a Circu. Meeting hall, port, totem pole, Port. Give me those ports. Those ports add beakers. Definitely useful buildings. And then we'll get back to building our swordsmen, our, our light swordsmen, whatever they are. 
But yeah, more beakers is good. Damn it. He's hiding. All right, we'll heal up. All right, we finished our port. Adds a little beakers. We're up to 598 per turn. Very good. Ah, the Incas are now at peace with Cleopatra. All right. You're building a mine. What's on here anyway? Nothing. You're building a mine on a hill. Let's <laughs> go get nothing better to do. We already got our quarry on the marble, so we're getting our marble bonus. But until the borders expand over this silver, he's not really going to have anything to do. 64 turns to border expansion. Oh, well, whatever. Red Cloud is adopting a bunch of policies, but no one cares because he probably only has one city left. He likes us. Look at that. He's fucking friendly. Why are you so friendly? I don't know. I don't really have any technology at all. Whatever. Let's get those ports. More beakers. Open borders. No, I can't do that. Because you're the worst enemy of Cleopatra. <laughs> I wouldn't mind it if you weren't the worst enemy of Cleopatra. But since you are... Alright, well, he's going to keep his galleys hidden in there, so we'll head back around this way. See what's up with Zulu. You guys probably missed it, but we sent uh, Trireme over here. Cleopatra built a hero unit. We sent a Trireme over here... And when we got here, we saw a, an Egyptian galley, which is a three-strength unit. And a trireme is a six-strength unit. And our trireme had bonuses, because it had been in battles. And we attacked him with, like, 98% chance of victory, and of course we lost. And not only did we lose, but he captured our trireme. So Shaka over here has one of our triremes captured, and I'm kind of upset. Oh well. It's just one boat. We have more. Most cultured. Us. Sweet. There's a bear over here. The ranger's gonna kill it. I'm sure of that. Alright, we have a port over here in Pichon. We have a port in Antana. Bombay is still bombarding us. It kind of tickles. It's a Marlin. What's up, Marlin? It's floating on top of the sea. A hero died. That's nice. Apparently we killed that bear. Yep, took a little damage, but it's dead. Keep building. God, no. You're an idiot. You don't even want an embassy. Look at this. He still doesn't want an embassy. This is how dumb this guy is. It is imperative to contest okay, now we can build high walls. Victory. So the army is not garrisoned, and the profit can be total. You can also do a siege weapons workshop. This is the law of strategic siege. City gatehouse. 
Yeah, we want to build some of that stuff. We can also do a catapult, super duper, siege tower, siege ram, lens, necked, the wrong culture for that. Khmer with the wrong culture for that. Watcha, definitely the wrong culture for that. Silar, definitely the wrong culture for that. Silat, Swiss pikemen, we're the wrong culture for all this shit. We do have the ability to build early skirmishes, though. These guys are replacements for javeliners, so... That'll be mm. cool. We can replace our javeliners. Although, I think we only have one. Alright, Triumph Column. There it is. Uh, plus 10% Great General Emergence and 15% Military Production. Very good. We built that up here in Pitchon, where we're building our swordsmen. Hmm. What else can we do here? What buildings can we do here? Nothing that'll improve our military units. I do want to do high walls eventually. Um, but I'm not too concerned about getting attacked right now. High walls are always good. I mean, the benefits are not a... Uh, testing. Hello? Alright, is this gonna fucking work or what? This is just bullshit. I keep trying to record... And it just keeps failing. It's really pissing me off. Anyway. Uh, blizzards dump several meters of snow on a region near Pitjan. So here's something that definitely needs fixing. Look at this. A mine and a road are going to get destroyed, right? Because of a blizzard. Makes sense. We're in the Arctic up here. What do you think it would cost me to save both a mine and a road? Four or five hundred bucks, maybe? No. Five dollars to save a mine and a road. Alright, we saved our mine and our road. Hooray. Built a barracks. Good. Got some swordsmen coming out now. Good, good. Yeah. Just crank them out. Ah, swordsman has arrived at destination. Good, good. So one thing I noticed was we're building a siege weapon workshop here, but one thing we're gonna need for all these troops, is boats! We don't have any fucking transport ships. And this is my only city on this sea, which can build ships. So, I should probably look into building some freaking ships. Some galleys. If I could find them. Galley, there you go. Cargo space 2. Alright, so instead of siege weapons, you're going to be building ships. I'll probably get like, I don't know, six or seven. Just so we can shove a bunch of dudes on it and then go over and dump them off. That's all they're going to be for. Profit. It's cool. Uh, yeah. City attack. City attack. City attack. Thank you very much. Let's go over here. Great profit. What do you want to get from me? You want to get me resurrection? Go for it. Fine with me. Whatever. Sense the nature of people is bad. To become corrected, they must be taught by teachers, and to be orderly, they must acquire ritual and moral principles. Sure. Whatever you say, Kimosabi. Trading post. Are we are we size six yet? No, we're getting there though. We're getting dangerously clo dangerously close to size six. Still can't build anything useful down there. So just. All right, so let's try this again. Got viewports turned on now. And this is just, ugh. and now, wonderfully, with viewports turned on, now that feature seems to make Bandicam stop working entirely. It just records for a few minutes and then just stops recording, and it doesn't tell me that it's stopping because it still shows little red numbers as if it's recording, but it's not. So you can see right here, we now have a viewport edge. Can't really do much about that. It's a real pain in the ass, and I hate it with a passion. But, yeah. 
Welcome to the Gamebryo engine, which has really, really bad limitations. <clears throat> anyway, we captured a minky whale, so we're going to bring that over to Axum and get tales of fish or tales from the deep or whatever. Let's just end the turn for now. Alright, Cleo wants to pay 600 bucks for a tech that is not letting me see how expensive it is. There it is. Three grand. 3,000 beakers for 600 bucks. You are smoking some serious Egyptian crack. I don't think so. Wow, she has totally different civics than us. We have these. She has a whole bunch of different shit. Monarchy's the same. Other than that, sovereignty's the same. Caste, caste system, barter, mercenaries, divine cult. No idea what that is. Ways to see, open borders, military tradition, interpreters. A lot of shit that we don't have. Uh, what's this? A subdued hawk. Uh, we could and probably should do this. This is a bird enclosure at our governor's menagerie. So this is sort of like a zoo, and eventually this will give us plus 2% beakers once we research scientific methods, so sounds good to me. And since we have the... Uh, oh, we switched viewports. Great. So now we're in this viewport, which is cut off up there. So it gets cut off at Uruk. But anyway, what I was pointing out was Uruk has a little star next to it now, so it acts as a secondary capital since we built the uh, Abu Simbel world wonder there. So that's good. It makes conquering the Greeks all that much... I mean the Greeks. Um, it makes conquering Inda, India all that much easier. Sort of. There's an orca over there. Ooh. And that's it for our turn. Okay, looks like the recording did not fail that time. Good. Captured an orca. Uh, why don't we bring you over here? Okay, another light swordsman. Get you to the front lines, please. And Minky Whale has arrived in Axum, so we can either do Myth of Fish or Wonders of the Deep. Wonders of the Deep gives us beakers. Myth of Fish gives us food and beakers. This one's... Uh, I guess we'll go for Wonders of the Deep. There's not a whole lot of units that'll give you Wonders of the Deep, but there's a ton that'll give you Myth of Fish. So... Alright, another galley is done. Let's bring him over here. That's two galleys. We still have a long way to go. There we go. Another viewport switch. Light swordsman. City attack, city attack, city attack. Very nice. Over here. These viewports, they have these hard walls. Oh man, that is it's just difficult to get used to. Uh, you go over here and heal up because you're pretty fucking hurt. Good job capturing that whale, though. Alright, you're about to level up your city. Is there anything we can do here? Uh, yeah, that'll make you a little happier. A little healthier, too. No. Uh, tavern but it makes you unhealthy, so we'll put it in the queue, but it'll be pretty far down. Eh, whatever. Put it in the queue. And a whole bunch of other shit will be useful eventually. But I want the forge first. We need that forge to complete that quest.
No. I don't think so. You refuse to help us, really. Really, you're going to call me on that. You, you demand us to give you a technology, and you're upset that we didn't give it to you. You shouldn't have made a dumb demand. There we go. We're in Pit John finished his queue of swordsmen. I think it's time we start building some siege weapons here. Let's make sure there's no buildings that we're missing out on, though. Hammers? Nope. Food? Uh, tavern is not that great of a building. And, yeah. I mean, it's okay. It gives you money and happiness, uh, but it, it at the cost of crime. So, uh, we'll think about it. But for now, let me get some units. I want some catapults. Or we could do a ballista. What's this? So the catapult's better at bombarding, but the ballista's better at actually attacking the city because it gets a bonus for his archery units and melee units. Holy shit, I didn't know that. They do take a little bit longer to build, though. And they don't cause as much collateral damage. It's good to note. It causes 15... They both cause 50% collateral, but the catapult can cause collateral damage to more units. Hmm. Uh, I, I've never used ballistas, so let's get a few of them. Holy shit, what is wrong with this? It's taking forever to click stuff. Uh, give me like, uh, like 10 of them. Are we done here? Alright, we got our swordsman. He's still shooting my ships. Good luck with that, sir. All he has is javeliners, so these swordsmen are going to chew him up, especially when we upgrade them to regular swordsmen instead of light swordsmen. He is going to learn a new definition of the word pain. Alright, more galleys, good. Swordsman. Very good. Where's my other healer? You can just chill there, Mr. Galley. I thought we had two healers. Where's our. Is that over here? No. Where's our other healer? Uh, military. We only have one. Really? I thought we had a second healer. Well, we definitely need a second healer. So I guess we'll just build it over here. Yo! Give me a healer. Thank you. Okay, Minky Whale has arrived. Uh, sure, Myth of Fish, whatever. Extra food cannot hurt. There's quite a few swordsmen. I wonder if he's shaking in his booties. reason I'm going for the Hunter 2 promotion is because it gives you the extra first strike and that works against anything not just against animal units so it's worth it's worth getting and besides there are animal units out there who can one-shot a galley so you might as well 
get the uh, bonus strength versus animals. So, you want us to clear war on Tibet? No! Alright, we have our first siege unit. It's a ballista. Very nice. Uh, probably just want city attack. More city attack. These guys are pretty much one shot units. They go in, they attack, and they die. And that's it. Uh, another swordsman arrived. Good. Just stand there. Hey, Rook is finally growing. High five, Rook. And uh, with all these units we've been building, we go away, dude. With all these units we've built, we've come into uh, even playing field with Egypt and Tibet as far as military strength, so that's good. City attack. It's all swordsmen are for. Three galleys there so far. They can hold how many units? Just two? Sheesh. Not much room, huh? Oh well. Oh yeah, we'll have to bring a train dogs over as well, just so we can see enemy rogues and shit. Here, you build me a train dogs. Thank you. Well, that was quick. We're back up to 12,000 gold. Just out of nowhere. Alright, you just finished a whole bunch of swordsmen. Can you build anything that I want? Probably. Let's do the war dog trainer, and let's get some war dogs. They're not the best, but they function the same as trained dogs. They're just stronger. So we'll do that. Hey, let me out of here. Let me out of the city. Thank you. Jesus. So I think we'll do that. And then this train dogs. Ugh. Yeah, I guess we can just upgrade him. Can you build the war dog thing? The war dog trainer? Yes, build the war dog trainer. And hopefully we can just upgrade this little doggy. He's not really useful for anything else. Uh, yeah, just chill right there. Yeah. Yeah. After the war dog trainer, just go back to uh, swordsman, please. Actually, do you have uh, the siege academy thing? No, you don't. Well, build that. Lazy city. Can't build siege weapons. Okie dokie, another galley is done. In fact, that's quite a few galleys that are done. Wow. Spirits Alliance would get rid of unhealthiness. No unhealthiness from buildings. Wow, that is so nice. I would
would love to let you build that, but uh, first and foremost, we are going to be at war pretty soon. So, yeah, you can help with ballista production. That'll be nice. There you go. Oh my god, exit the city. Ugh, painful, slow. There we go. Wow, we're even building swordsmen here. Oops, that was accidental click. Whatever, you can be my retard swordsman. Uh, oh, there we go. So there's nothing we can really do over there. For the noise. Uh, yes, definitely get some production going on in here. Any more food buildings? Yes, you can do food again. Good. This all would come in time. It just we had to get a certain few buildings built before we could do these better buildings. Uh, anything that obvious that we're missing? Well, I guess that would be nice eventually, but it's not the not the do all end all. Thing. Uh, this would be good. Science and let's put that on the top. Actually, science and culture. Uh, more culture. Let's put that at the bottom. More culture. Yeah, put that at the bottom. Just get some culture going. Just because we need those borders to expand. Still recording? Yeah, okay. Good. Okay, we trained a war dog. Oh no, we didn't train a war dogs. It upgraded to a war dogs. Sweet. Good job. Sometimes the automatic upgrade works fine, sometimes it's a little buggy. Okay, got another swordsman. We're only 11 turns from upgrading these guys, and that's when we're going to start this war. And Gandhi is so fucked, he just doesn't know it yet. Alright, you're working on siege weapons. Good, good. Light swordsman. How many more do you have in queue? A few. Alright, keep it up. Uh, you are the worst enemy of Lapu Lapu. Hmm, sure. As long as you're not the worst enemy of Cleopatra, I'm okay with it. Now, if we've got an embassy, we've got open borders. Free trade agreement, what would that do? Increases trade revenue, lowers the cost of espionage. May anger rivals. Well, whatever. A hey, great merchant. Nice. Uh, I don't know what to do with it. Probably just bulb something. Yay, war dogs. They're only slightly better than trained dogs. But, I mean, anything better than three strength is good. So, we'll take five strength. It's fine. Great merchant. What are you going to bulb for me? Alphabet. Sure. Then we won't feel so backwards because all the other civs already have alphabet. Thank you. Words have the power to both destroy and heal. When words are both true and kind, they can change our world. So we can now do open and closed borders, which obviously is better than what we have right now, which is no borders. Uh, we also unlock Cherokee culture, which we can't do because we're not American. We're African. Open borders, closed borders can build research, espionage, sneak, literature, democracy. So it doesn't actually do a whole lot for us directly unless we wanted to change our civics, which we don't. Uh, we'll change our civics later. 
Uh, closed borders is nice if you have rebellious problems because this will lower national and local rebelliousness. So, yeah. Plus one happiness in all cities, all sorts of things. This is good if you really are making a whole lot of uh, money and you want to make more money and your cities are already happy because this will increase rebelliousness, but it also gives you a fuck ton of trade. No, we're not going to do any co civic changes right now. We're focused on something else. Okay, there we go. You can see the Zulu have expanded quite a bit, as expected. Leave them alone long enough and they'll do great things. Storyteller hut. Seamstress hut. Okay, five turns until this upgrades to size six. Then we can finally get a forge up there. You guys have a swordsman coming out. Not sure how to get the viewport to switch. The only thing I know how to do is click on the name Gondar, and that should switch the viewport. Yeah, there we go. Wish it was easier to do than that, but whatever. Uh, as soon as this galley arrives... No, we still have to wait ten turns. I was going to say we could start ferrying troops over, but it won't do any good if we can't upgrade them to better swordsmen. So we have to let them stay where they are before we, up, before we send them over. City attack... There's another city. Just archers and elephant riders. Not a whole lot of defense. Can't see what this city is, though. It's probably on top of a hill, so we can't see it. Oh well. We'll head up this way, I guess. Okay, another swordsman. Just chill. Uh, Ballista has arrived. Awesome. Alright, Siege Weapon Workshop is done. Let's start pumping out more Ballistas. Because these really... The uh, Light Swordsmen probably won't be dying when we attack cities. But the Ballistas... Well, hold on. I don't want that. The Ballistas probably will. So, uh... We're going to need a lot more Ballistas than we have right now. Because they're just going to die. And that's fine. And the other thing to note is we're only going after two cities. So I think we can actually start switching away from military production because uh, it's only two cities. It's not like there's a whole lot that we're going to kill right now. So let's start getting some better buildings in here. Required to build Spirit's Legacy. Uh, yeah, you can do that. And then I want this. And I want high walls. And I want this. Holy shit, why are you not working properly? I'm holding down shift and it's just ignoring what I'm doing. Uh, War Dogs training might as well. It gives us a little bit of espionage. Don't really want the Hippodrome. I mean, it's not bad. It's just I don't plan on building mounted units, so what's the point? And it gets it takes hammers away and it adds sickness, so. Uh, siege Weapon Workshop, you might as well. Okay, there's our swordsman. Go to the front with him. Okay. Oh, it's a canoe we can kill. Look at that. 99.98%. Hooray! But we're almost dead now, so... Jesus. That was painful. Alright. You built another swordsman. Good, good. Triple city attack for the win. Another galley's arrived. That's six galleys, so we can transport 12 units at a time. 
We only have one ballista. Oh my god. Whatever. Well, uh, at the beginning, we're probably just going to be fighting off units. So I'm probably going to want to bring uh, two crossbows with us and the war dogs. Because uh, the crossbows are kind of good at defending, whereas the swordsmen are pretty much only good at attacking. So My city looks like uh, the walls are in the wrong spot. Whoa, what died? Please tell me it wasn't my uh, war galley down there, or trireme, whatever it was. Mm, probably the trireme. Yep, trireme was destroyed by a trireme. He killed my trireme with the trireme that he stole from me. That bastard. <laughs> oh, man. That sucks. Alright, whatever. Okay, yeah, we're... I think we have enough swordsmen. I mean, it's, that's not a ton, but it's, Ghani doesn't have that many units, you know? He has some. Uh, auto upgrade and come on over. Ballista, that's what we need. Most likely he's going to turtle up in his cities and just cower and cry and beg for peace or whatever. Uh, I think we can stop with the swordsmen, to be honest. Let's go ahead and switch in uh, War Dog Trainer. Uh, no World Wonders or anything. Okay. Um, invocation Hut. Sure, whatever. Grove, a watch. Health buildings, food buildings, specialist buildings, money buildings, happiness buildings, more money buildings. Uh, crime buildings, and then high walls. This is my capital after all, so give it high walls. And we still have two places building ballistas. No, three places building ballistas, so we should be fine. Okay, swordsman arrived. Good, good. Ah, ballista. Good, good. Don't get as many upgrades with it, but that's okay. Ballista for the win. And we still have light swordsmen being produced in Uruk, so we'll have plenty of swordsmen for sure. Okay, just chill. And you can bonuses. Auto upgrade and chill. And a second ballista has arrived. Hooray! Uh you auto upgrade, just stay right there. Third ballista, cool. Axum's gonna grow to size twenty next turn, very nice. Go Axum. For some reason, we cannot see the walls in Axum. It's kind of disturbing. I'm pretty sure they're there, because we built Hadrian's Wall, so they should be there. You want math. How about... How about you go fuck yourself, because you won't even accept an embassy? He's just downright unfriendly. Size 20, very good. Yeah, there's, I can't see any walls. Actually, I can sort of see a little outline here, so I think the walls are there. It's just, yeah, I can see the outline here too. I don't know what's going on with those walls. I can see them here. 
Uh, the silly thing is, uh, whoa, look at that. Look at those walls. They are floating above the city. Oh, so's the farm. The farm is floating above the ground. And the horses. The horses are, those are magical horses. We have magical horses. Welcome to Ethiopia. <laughs> Enjoy the magical horses and the floating forts. Okay, so here's a, a big problem I have with this mod is... Uh, well, obviously stuff's floating, but I think that has to do with viewports. Uh, these are walls, but this is actually the graphic for palisades. And if I had built a palisade, which I never did, I built a... I guess I did build a palisade. But this is what the palisade is supposed to look like, and then the walls are supposed to look like solid. And not, not wooden sticks. Palisade is wooden sticks. Walls are not wooden sticks. Alright, at least the grapes are at the right height. Uh, but this mine, this mine, half of the mine is floating. The actual physical mine is not floating, but the terrain that goes underneath the mine is floating. Oh, that is so creepy. That has to do with viewports, I'm sure. Ah, this head is floating. Look at this. Floating head. <laughs> that's uh, what a goody hut looks like after you've gone through it. So that's a goody hut that's been explored. And that fort is all, I mean, that uh, wall is also floating. This one has no wall at all. So it looks like some of the. Like, Alright. Uh, crashes be damned. We're gonna kill Gandhi whether he likes it or not. And, uh. Yeah, I don't care if that's his sec secret weapon against us. It's just a crash. So we're not gonna let it stop us. We got some badass looking swordsmen up here and some ballistas. We're gonna fuck up his day. End of story. So first off, can you kill him? Yes, you can. Go kill him. I'm going to send one of my crossbows up there as well. And I'm going to send a doggy up there. The rest of you, please attack them. Thank you. Attacking, keep attacking, keep attacking, and stop attacking. Just fortify. Boats, go back and get more people. Get some of these motherfuckers out of here. I want all of you. And I want some swordsmen on the boat. Well, I guess just eight. Uh, yeah. And then we can move them up to this hill on the next turn. Because we want to surround this motherfucker. So that he can't do anything. That's the idea. And we'll get huge attack bonuses. And right now what we're doing is we're preventing him from getting back to the city. I hope. I hope he can't go through. He can pra Actually, are those mud paths? Yeah, they're mud paths. Okay, so he can, he can just go around me and go right back into the city. Ah, well, whatever. Whatever. I have gained this by philosophy. Oratory, but I do all right. without being commanded what others do only from fear of the law. Sericulture, what's this do? Constant can construct silk road, silk farm, and cochineal farm. I think we've already um, obsoleted the silk farm, actually. Um, no, we obsoleted the silk road. That's different. Mm, let's do glass. No, Ishtar Gate, glass factory, fiberglass factory. Yeah, let's do glass. Everyone else has glass, so let's make sure we uh, catch up to them on uh, on everything. All right, let's start building some actual buildings here since we have the units that we want. There's no wonders or anything. Armorer, yeah, give me an armorer. And then a, some signs. And of course you got rid of the armorer because some, for some reason it lags when you pick items in this mod. It's so annoying. And it, it doesn't recognize that I'm holding down shift when I click on this fucking sign. Come on. I'm adding it to the queue. I'm not replacing the item on the queue. There you go. Oh, School of Rhetoric. Ooh, new combat units gain two experience points. Nice. Gotta love rhetoric. I uh, don't really need it right now, though, so let's go ahead and do a coppersmith. We'll put the rhetoric in there, too. It's just not super duper necessary. Put the officium in there. Put the high walls in there. Uh... Food, better town maintenance, or whatever it is. Lead mine, that's more hammers. Mercury mine is stupid. 
Uh, tavern, I guess. I don't think we have any crime at all, do we? We do have crime. Alright, no tavern. No tavern. In fact, what we're going to do is build some town watchmen, because we can afford it. Town watchmen cost a lot of money, but they can also save you a lot of, uh, they can save you a lot of money from crime that they stop, so. Uh, let's get like, uh, two, I guess. Is that going to work? There you go. Two. Uh, congratulations, you have met the goals for your master blacksmith and built enough forges for each of his students to have his own to operate. Please choose a reward. Use our advantage to discover a new source of copper. Uh, our metalworking empire should be leveraged into promoting stronger weapon. Ooh, all swordsmen get shock. Nice. Uh, one free engineer. I'm thinking the free source of copper would be most useful in the long run just because it's going to be a permanent set of extra production that we get. This would be nice just to have extra shock. Uh, no, fuck shock. Don't want the free engineer. Let's get the copper. I wonder where it put it down. Oh, it put it down right on the city. Ha, <laughs> ha. Okay, so we don't get extra hammers out of it, because it put it right on the damn city. Whatever. Alright, you guys are set. And yeah, he retreated right into the city, so his city is full of people now. Uh, we're going to actually move you over here. You guys go over here. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. I got shit to do. I want all these guys to disembark. All of them. Alright. Can you attack him? Yes, you can. What do you have? Javeliner, 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 Javeliner. We're actually going to take this whole stack and go over here. And then we're going to split up you guys even further. Uh, take you and the doggy. No, no, just the doggy. Oh my god. And you. Go up here. Uh, can you kill him? Yes. Right, kill him, and you guys are going to split up. Actually, no. You guys can stay together, all of you. And just heal. Two turns, no big deal. I'm sure Gandhi is pissing his pants right now. Just like, ah, uh, why is there an army near my city? Well, it's because you're a bad man and you wouldn't stop sending over rogues and shit. Or else I might have left you alone. No, okay, I, I, I probably was never going to leave Gandhi alone, but that's not my fault. It's such a tempting target, he's so close to us. It's his fault for being so close to us. So we're just going to heal up a couple turns and then we'll attack the city. And I don't think there's much I can do about it. Okie we still recording? Yep, good, good, good. It's hard to tell if we're still recording sometimes. Okay, guys. Kill them. And we'll send out one more guy just for fun. Ballistas. Can you please bombard the city defenses? Thank you. Guys, we're going to send one healer over to here so we can cover more units. You guys should still be healing. Ships, come on down. Pick up some more dudes. Alright, look, more dudes. Uh, oh, Town Watchman, cool. Um,. I'm tempted just to not upgrade these guys, because later on you'll uh, research something that will let you have uh, um, just really good bonuses to fighting crime. Because this guy starts with policing one, which reduces crime every turn. Uh, but there's better uh, promotions that you can get later, better than these. 
definitely don't want banditry that increases crime. Uh, I think we'll go for the extra first strikes, and then we'll go for just straight up strength. We're not we're not on hills, so that hills bonus won't do us any good. Uh, bonus versus archery units. I'm not sure if we need that. We already have a bonus of 45 versus archery units. I think we'll just go for... No, no, here we go. Policing 2. There we go. And auto upgrade and just fortify. Okay, another Ballista. We're going to take all the Ballistas we can and some Swordsmen. One, two, three. No, not all of them. For fuck's sake. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and you guys. Okay. On the boat. Oh, you can't get on the boat this turn? Really? Okay, next turn. Whatever. You guys, just relax. They're eager to kill some fucking uh, Indians. I know you're eager. Those Indians will be there next turn, so just chill. They really don't have a whole lot of dudes left. I think we killed, we killed like six or seven of them, but that seems to be quite a, quite a large portion of their total. What is that? Oh, they have a bunch of guys sitting there. Look at that. Their flag is disappearing. Okay, that's definitely a bug. It's, their flag is disappearing. It looks like it's behind this storm. Yeah. Yeah, see the storm has this weird tile, and that's where the rain appears. And apparently that tile covers flags. And it covers the entire unit, too. We can hide the unit behind that square. Oh, that is creepy. No, oh, but there's a stack of Indian units there, so got to keep that in mind. You guys just heal up. You just fortify. Uh, heal up. Uh, three swordsmen, you're probably fine. Just fortify. We actually have 99% chance of attacking right now. Yeah, let's take some cheap shots. I mean, these guys are just elite attackers. The city has no chance. Might as well take some cheap shots. You're not full health. Yeah. Heal up. Poor guys. They're way in over their heads. Oh, looks like they attacked us. What did we lose? Come on, tell me. No, go away. Uh, War Dogs died. Healer! Oh my god, they killed my healer! What? Uh, swordsman killed a javeliner, killed a javeliner. Killed by a javeliner, killed by a javeliner. War Dogs promoted. War Dogs killed a train dogs, and then a train dogs killed my war dogs and my healer. Ooh. Well, good on you for doing that. Um. Actually, that is kind of a pain in the ass, but I have a ton of units here, so I'm not worried about it. Let's march that guy over there. <laughs> Attack the city. Attack the city. Uh, you guys attack the city. 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 Yeah. And I know I talked about raising it, but this has like two world wonders in it, so I'm not going to raise it. Do need to worry about happiness, though. So let's take a look. Well, not just happiness. Uh, but also stability. Stability is going to be super duper difficult over here. And yeah, a lot of the buildings got destroyed. Oh wait, let me control A. I want to get rid of the bandits hideout. And it probably has something else that I don't want either. Very much these bone huts. 
Bug gatherer, butchery, canoe builder, carpenter, chalk, chopper. There's a lot of shit here. Dog breeder, forge. Oh, we didn't kill the forge. Nice. Healer's hut, ice house, emu, irrigation. Blur, 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 blur. Percussion is from tubers, but seamstress hut, stilt hut, stone huts. Blah, 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 blah. We all right. All right, so most of it's fine. He has Cahokia Mounds here. Culture African, Song of the Sea, Song of the Sky. The Kashi... Oh, that's right. This is the Holy City of Hindu. Maybe I should have destroyed it. Eh, whatever. No, that's not a slight against Hindus. It's just a fact that we already have a religion, and I don't want other religions. Animal tents. Just build all this shit. And then we'll get back to you and look at other possibilities. The happiness buildings will probably just buy. Alright, you guys, what are you doing? You guys are super weak. That's awesome. Getting them nice and weak. It's always good. Uh, you can actually come into the city and heal up. Okay, more dudes. Get on the boat. Uh, he doesn't have a whole lot left, actually. <laughs> the Filipino, the Philippines are over here. Filipinos are over here just watching. They're like, hey guys. Hey, hey, Gandhi, what's up? And Gandhi's like, can you help us, please, or go away? <laughs> He's like, hey, I'm just watching, man. Leave me alone. <laughs> uh, Filipinos, you crack me up. Okay, we have another ballista. You can just chill. Yeah, we're going to need some town watchmen up here, too, because these places are going to be upset at us for a long time. So, high five to us. We got another city that dropped India down to the bottom three, and we moved up uh, pretty close underneath Egypt now. Sounds like they may have attacked us. Maybe. Could have been a wild animal attacking one of our ships. I know. They attacked my ballista. Oh, a bandit footpad attacked my ballista. Interesting. Alrighty then. I'm actually going to take all my hurt units. All of them. Hurt units are going to go inside the city. Because I don't care what they do right now. I don't care what the enemy does right now. I mean. uh, we will kill these guys though. Yeah. Just get rid of him. Come back in the stack. Uh, yeah, just go in the... S no, we'll stay here. Heal up. Heal up. Heal up. And you motherfuckers are gonna go right next to Delhi. Hello, Delhi. What's up, bro? He has one, two... Uh, the, s the canoes don't count, so he has one, two, three, four, five, six... He has six defenders, that's it. Presumably, he'll bring these few guys and he'll put them in the city. Although, we may wind up just killing him right now. Alright, and Town Watchman, get your strength bonus, get your policing bonus, and get your first strike, I guess. upgrade and just sit there. Now all you motherfuckers just heal up. We got a long road ahead. Well, not really. But I do want you healthy when we siege Delhi. Oops. No, I don't want sentry. Wake up. Heal. Okay, you guys are ready to go in the city and heal. So do that. Oh. 
you guys can actually move and attack. But it's just a thief, an archer, and a javeliner. I don't see the point. Let's put you guys in this stack. I want to grab my healer. Well, no, this guy's pretty fucking hurt. I'll keep the healer there for one turn. You guys, come on back. Why do we not have a mud path here? We have mud paths everywhere except on this one tile. Which is a tile I need a mud path on right now. Whatever, just get all this shit. Come up here. Whatever. Come on, Gandhi, what you got? Come at me, bro. He didn't even attack. Alright. Guys, get on the boat. Guys, let's go over here. Oh, we have another ballista? Dude, we didn't need another ballista, really. I think we can stop with the ballistas. Start doing some buildings. Are there any wonders we could do? No. Are there any wonders we can't do? Not really. We haven't. We don't really have the tech for any type of wonders right now. All right, let's uh, do some buildings that make sense. Then let's do uh, production building, more production building, food building. I guess stable. I guess oratory is always good, or school of rhetoric, whatever. Uh, dance hall, sure. Tavern that gives crime. Could start doing town watchmen. It's probably a good idea, actually. Let's do all this shit. And then let's do a town watchman. If I could find him. Actually, let's put the town watchman in first, just to make sure we don't have any goddamn crime. I hate crime so much. In this game, crime can kill you. It can totally murder your income. Then again, you have to keep in mind, town watchmen cost gold every turn. They cost two gold every turn. So, you know, it's not free. But overall, I think it is a big benefit having Town Watchmen. I'm not even building buildings that cause crime. Where's the Town Watchmen? Can we not build Town Watchmen? Is that really what's going on here? We can't build Town Watchmen. Pretty sure I know what the... I there it is. Holy shit, I'm fucking blind as shit. Nah, two's enough. Come to the front lines, even though we don't need it anymore. You're also still building ballistas. Don't need them. Uh, let's just queue in some fun stuff. And let's queue in some town watchmen. Just two. Every city should have two. Okay, so they didn't attack. We can still see they're rogue, so they're stupid. Surely they realize that these dogs mean that we can see they're rogue, but apparently they don't realize that. Alright, you just heal up. You guys, I want you in the city. Heal up. I want the healer in the city. Just stay there. Uh, you're all ready to go. Let's, uh... Might as well just collect in the city. You both get in the city. Heal up. Now, I don't think this douchebag realizes we can see him. But we can. So, fuck you, you're dead. I think we'll move a couple units over. Move the healthy ones over. And you guys can also sort of spread out. We'll take three of you over here. And you just fortify. Just heal up. Fortify. Heal up. Heal up. Alright. Uh, you come over here. 
take both of you. No. Doggy, you need to heal up. You come defend this guy. You're done healing? Okay, good. Go over here. Ah, yes. More units. Uh, can you get off the boat? I don't... Um, I think they've already... Yeah, they have no movement. Alright. Uh, just heal up. Alright. Let's see if God does anything. I doubt it. Uh, no. Hey, glass blowing. Shining. Show me the glint of light on broken glass. Uh, da, 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 da. Stargazing, sericulture. Stargazing will give us some more beakers, so let's do that. Beakers are always good. Town watchman, hooray. Get your policing bonus, and then, um, sure, get your. You can't get the hunter bonus here. Oh, you start with hunter bonus here. Um, then just get double strength bonus. Alright, I think he's starting to realize how fucked he is. But that's not quite enough. I want him to squeal. Alright, so let's get our ballistas to start bombarding. It's a slow, painful process of getting their defenses down. You can heal. You can just fortify there. You guys just fortify there. Actually, we have two here. Oh. Hello. You're dead. Dumbass. Does the AI seriously not realize that I can... That we can see his hidden units because we have war dogs? Surely he must know this. Oh, we're still building ballistas here. Oh my goodness. That's too many ballistas. Really, that is enough ballistas. Uh, do the war dogs thing. And that. 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 And first of all, give me some Town Watchmen. Uh, we could start attacking. We have really good chance, but I think we'll wait. There's no rush. Let's send you up there. You're also healthy. Let's go up there as well. We have a ballista that's ready. You can go over there. Another ballista. That's fine. And the healer wants to move. Uh, I could bring the healer to the front lines, but I don't think it's necessary. I mainly want to act as a hospital over here, because lots of these units are hurt. These guys are fine, though, so let's go over here. Yeah, let's go over here, and then we can move these. Yeah, this is good. Yeah. Now we're going to move these units this way. And then we can move these units this way. So we're going to get an even better surrounding now. Uh, you guys can get off the boat now. All of you, please get off the boat. And we can go back. Not like we need to pick up anyone else, but we can if we want to. We don't have to blockade the city anymore, so I'll set this guy on hunt. Might as well. And... and turn. Okay, so... Yeah. These fucking viewports are screwing with Bandicam's ability to actually record. Just randomly stops recording for no reason now, but whatever. Let's keep bombarding this fool. Just unloaded a whole bunch more units. Uh, let's bombard some more. 
And now I have to seriously look at just attacking this guy, because even with 42% defense bonus, he is completely surrounded. He has no real chance of defending himself. Uh, crossbow can come over here. Uh, let's look at attack. What's our chances? 98%. Alright. <laughs> Might as well. And he died. Okay, so doing this has made the uh, Hindu religion survive. If we had raised both of his cities, the Hindu religion would have been destroyed. Uh, he actually has no real good shit. Because that world wonder does nothing, because he only has that tiny little island as his continent. Get rid of that bandit's hideout. Yes. Uh, I probably could have flattened both of these cities and built better location cities. Actually, this city's in a good location, but Bombay's in a terrible location. Carry on, chalk pit. Da, da, da. Chalk pit. No, get rid of that. I don't need a chalk pit. Coppersmith. Creation myth, divine monument, dog breeder. Fletcher, forge, fox hunter, frontier, furrier, gold mine, graveyard, grocer, hat shop, healer's hut, ice house, irrigation. Blah, 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 blah. Public stoning. I don't think I need... Well, it does reduce crime, so sure. Uh, that means he doesn't have crucifixion crosses, which I need to build. I need to build those everywhere. Uh, stick gatherer, stone tool, storage pit, termite mound, tablet worker, tide pools. Alright, so it doesn't look like he has anything too bad. It does have some crime, so we have to get rid of that. It's just soliciting, though. All right, let's queue up some stuff. I'm currently playing the world's smallest violin in memory of Gandhi. He will be missed. And um, I will try not to piss on his grave, but most likely we're going we're gonna to piss a little bit. So sorry in advance, Gandhi, but uh, your grave's going to get a little wet and salty. Alright, so we have this giant army, which we don't need anymore. We spread our religion up there somehow. We didn't spread it down here, probably because it's a holy city. Uh, so we need a shaman. Or not a shaman, we need a um, missionary. Let's get one of those up. There we go. And other than that, we can just leave most of our army up here doesn't really have to be on the, the mainland, and we have tons of galleys. We could go kick these guys around, but uh, the problem with that is we have 11 cities right now, and our limit is 12 cities. It's like a pretty hard limit. If we go beyond that limit, we're going to have some huge penalties, so maybe we should just come take Davao, since it's kind of close to us, and it would give us a foothold on, over there. Or we could go found another city somewhere. There really is nowhere else that I want to found a city on the land that we have. This one will eventually grow to encompass all of that. This one will grow to encompass all of that. This one will grow to encompass all of this. I think the spacing we have is pretty good right now, except this crap up here. But what can you do? You know, it's Bombay. Uh, but getting Davao, I think we'll do that. All right, let's go to get Davao then. We barely lost anything. I think we lost two units in this entire siege. This entire invasion, we lost two units. You guys, you can now go hunting. Isn't that nice? Your job is done. Uh, Ballistas, let's take you down here. You can go pick up these motherfuckers. 
Uh, why don't you guys come over here? Uh, swordsman, you just heal up. That's what the healer's for. The dogs can stay in the city. Uh, really don't need a whole lot of defense in this city. So I think we'll take everyone back to Bombay. Back to Bombay. Uh, get on the boat. We'll start bringing people over. He knows we're coming. Look at this shit. He's like, come at me, bro. I'm all defended as all shit. And, and yeah, but you left this tile open. So I'm going to land a whole bunch of troops on that tile. Or we could just attack from the boat. I bet we could take the city by attacking from the boat. That'd be hilarious. That would be hilarious. Alright, you can come this way. Uh, you're set to heal, but you'll heal faster in the city. Uh, you're healed up. Just go here. I think that's it. Yeah. Alright. Oh, we killed something. What happened? Killed a narwhal. The gold mine in the city of Delhi is no longer functioning. Yeah, we'll we'll get it to work. Don't worry about it. That's what she said. Heal up. Get on the boat. My boat took damage. Ooh. Didn't even notice that. Why don't you heal up? Take one turn. And now, look, our borders have already spread all the way across. That is nice. You guys, uh, you can heal up over here. But you're healthy, so why don't you come over here? You're ready to go. Get on the boat. You guys are healthy, come over here. You're healthy, come over here. Actually, I think we'll use him to defend uh, Delhi. We're gonna need one crossbow over there anyway, so just defend the city. Hey, we have workers. Just start working. That way we don't have to build any damn workers over here, that's good. Uh, Tales of Narwhal. Sure, Myth of the Unicorn, whatever. I don't really care. Okay, bring the swordsman down here. Yep, swordsman come this way. Uh, you're hurt. We'll take all the damaged dudes and we'll go into the city and heal up. Everyone else who's healthy can come this way. Town watchman, very good. really is eating into our gold per turn, but it's useful. Ah, yes. The, uh, religion person. Uh, heal up. Come over here. Come this way. You guys are all healthy. Yeah, come this way. So even with 40% defenses, it didn't matter. These swordsmen are just so fucking pimp, you know? A little bit of tech goes a long way. The hell did we kill this time? Killed a barbarian tuna. 
Good job killing that barbarian tuna. Oh, and we were defending as well. So that's... That's fucking amazing. We were defending and we killed a barbarian tuna. You have a chalk pit? I thought we got rid of your chalk pit, or we would just get rid of Delhi's chalk pit? Now you have a chalk pit too. Alright, let's get rid of that. I don't want your chalk pit. There it is. Go away. Useless building. Get on the boat. Uh, are you healthy? Yes, you are. Healthy motherfuckers can get on the boat. Oh, we're out of space. Let's go drop off the first uh, set of people. Oh, it looks like he shoved everyone into the city. So he knows what's coming, but we don't even need the ballistas this time. This guy has no defenses. None. All he has is soldiers. He has no actual walls or anything, so... Oh well, sucks to be him. Okay, you guys need to heal up, so heal. Alright, you can't really move, so just chill. Chill. We'll pick you up eventually. Uh, chill. Whatever. You can't, you can't move, so just chill. Relax. Put your feet up. It's not a race. It's a video game. Okay. Now oh, it looks like these guys are pretty set. In fact, it looks like everyone is freaking healthy as all hell. So let's select everyone. And I'm going to leave the dogs behind. And everyone else is going to come. Doggies, just sit. Uh, Ballista, come over here. We won't even need all this. This is super duper overkill. I don't care. Come over here. There's so many soldiers. I'm pretty sure all of my soldiers are way better than his. Javeliners, javeliners, stone axe. He still has stone axemen. Wow. So, yeah. Missionary. Come this way. You're gonna go spread religion for me. I'll probably need another missionary for Davao, but we'll see. We might get a free... Uh, religion thing like we did in Delhi. Oh, please tell me he's going to attack me during the end turn. Please attack me, Filipinos. Please do it. They might have. What's up? Most powerful. Us. High five, us. Yeah, you're, while defending, your swordsman killed a Filipino javeliner. So, yeah, there you go. All right, so we got stargazing. That's nice. Uh, oh, free technology. Let's build that. A world wander that gives free tech. Okay. Uh, sericulture takes one turn. I can handle that. One turn. Uh, war dogs, just chill. Subdued desert tortoise. Build your special tortoise shell building that gives us science. Thank you. Missionary. I guess we'll put you on the boat. And you motherfuckers, let's attack with the ballistas, because they're going to get a nice bonus here. Really, not that much bonus, all right. There we go. 
There we go. Fortify. Heal up. Fortify. Uh... Whatever. Your trireme has killed a canoe. Good job. What did that canoe ever do to you? Yeah, exactly. We're getting some lag now. Alright, at least they built quickly. It took one turn to get lumber camp, two turns for rope weaver hut, so... Good. They don't seem upset at all, do they? It is getting worse, but just barely. So once we're done with all this shit, let's throw up the crucifixion crosses. That should help out a bit. No, 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 no. There we go. Yep, lowers crime, increases stability. Should probably want to build high walls here, too. Why can't we build high walls? There it is, high walls. Yep, that'll increase stability by 20%. That's nice. But crucifixion crosses first. Let's queue these up in Delhi as well. Just in case I forget about it and go do other shit. Uh, crucifixion crosses and then high walls. There you go. Alright, let's see if he attacks again. He might. Uh, sericulture, yay! Silk road, silk farm. Okay, these are starting to get expensive. Let's go for the cheap stuff. Cloud patterns, salt processing, sundial. Okay, let's bring you up here. Mainly because I want to get that missionary off the boat. Hey! Missionary off the boat. Ah, Ballistas. Just heal up. Uh, you're healed. Come over here, I guess. Whatever. Ah, you got another b level up. Promotion. Good job. Just heal up. Just heal up. Wow, that's a lot of units waiting to get over. We don't have enough galleys to get them over all at once, so it's taking some time. Well, it's a good thing we can attack. They have, like, no chance to defend. 100% attack. <laughs> wow. Well, we'll slowly whittle them down and then take them out, and that'll be nice. Alright, let's go build that World Wonder. Uh, who, wants to wor who wants a World Wonder? You already have a couple... Do you have any world wonders? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, could do Serpent Mound. And let's do this one. And uh, fine. I think we have fine clay right here. Yeah, we do. Oh, he has to build a quarry on it. All right, build a quarry. Two turns. Then we'll do the other one where you get fine clay bonus. Oh, he definitely attacked us. We lost something. Alright, what did we lose? Come on, show me all the text. Oh, a trireme was destroyed by a whale. That's all. Other than that, our triremes attacked a lot of shit and killed a lot of shit. Good job, triremes. You're my hero. And just go. 
continue the attack. They have nothing. Actually, running out of units. Hooray, running out of units. Ah, yes, spread my religion. Hooray. Okay, let's go pick up more units. Slowly. Painfully slowly. Okay, one more turn until this quarry. Yeah, one more turn. Then we'll have a quarry. We can build the other wonder. Lead working. I don't think so. No. Nope. Hey, a new narwhal. More tales of unicorn. And another narwhal. Um, sure, build a mascot for our ships. Since you build ships, might as well build, put mascots on them. guys over in time. That's sad. Take the healer and a bunch of motherfuckers. We actually have room for two more guys. can't offload them because they have no movement points left. We'll just stand here in the water and look menacing. Rawr. Uh, actually, we'll move that way. So we won't get bombarded by the city that turn. If the city has any ability to bombard. Uh, yeah, right here. Go ahead and build your uh, plus experience points. Go for it. Might as well. Actually, we got our fine clay, didn't we? Yes, we have a quarry here now. So we could do the wonder up there. Could do the wonder here. We're already doing a wonder there. We could do the wonder here. Yeah, why not? When are we ever going to get a chance to build a wonder here? 16 turns. Just throw it up. 14 turns. Even better. Everything there is a season and a time for every purpose under heaven. Okay, workers build improvements faster. That's good. And this also gives us the ability to build Timekeeper's Workshop, which is just more hammers. Okay. Salt processing, geometry. Let's do geometry because it gives us plus two beakers in our academies, our math academies. It's really cheap, so why not? Okay, a whole bunch of guys just got off the boat. Let's get our ballistas some experience, because they won't actually attack. They'll just kind of shoot at them and run away. Can you guys not attack? Oh, they can't attack because uh, because they can only do a certain amount of damage to units, and the units here have already been damaged to the point where we can't attack with them anymore. <laughs> so I guess swordsman it is. There we go. And we're now at our limit of 12 cities. And unfortunately, we did not automatically spread our religions. So we're going to have to go get a missionary. That's fine. 
Just unfortunate. Uh, yep. Yep. Uh, hammer buildings. There we go. Good, good. Actually, before all of that, we're going to do the uh, culture. We'll probably end up just buying the culture building, but I kind of want to get our culture spreading out because the Filipinos did not do any culture buildings. Uh, come on up here. Uh, do you have any defense there? You do, but they have a lot of guys. Now go up here. I don't think they'll attack, but in case they do, I want to have as many people up here as possible. We'll take two and two. Oh, we can even shoot at them right now if we want. Ha! Huh. No, nah, we'll just chill. Come at me, bro. Uh, did we get our... We never even got our healer off the boat. Wow, I feel stupid now. Alright, let's take... Uh, take our boats and go right here. I want to make sure our healer gets off the boat so we can get bonuses to these tiles. The rest of the guys doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll just get off the boat. Whatever. Uh, I might as well keep some guys on the land here, but I think it's just going to be a couple. Put one over here. Oh, come on. And one over here. And the rest of you guys might as well just get on the boats. Uh, I don't know. We'll go this way. I don't really feel like wiping out the Filipinos. They might as well just exist for all I care. Alright. So, I mean, that's a really nice defensible position because they didn't even bother coming around this way. They're intent on coming through this little mountain pass, which is really easily defended, so not too worried about it. Did we finish that tech? I think we did. Did we get any new wonders to build? I don't think so. Not really. Silk Road requires silk. Oh, we don't have any silk? Really? See any silk? What's that? Oh, those are those mollusk things. Murex, yeah. Alright, so I don't see any silk around here. That sucks. But whatever. And we're at 12 cities now, which is our limit under a monarchy. So we can't found any new cities, and we're not going to do any conquering new cities. Sounds like the Filipinos decided to attack. Probably was not the brightest idea. Tails of Beluga. Uh, you build anything here? Yeah, why don't you build some stuff over here? All right, what did they attack? I'm just curious. All right, so here's a whole buttload of messages. While defending, your Swordsman 22 has killed the Javeliner, Swordsman 27, Swordsman 9, Ballista 9, Ballista 14. So these guys killed everything. They threw their entire stacks at us, and we killed all of them. Wow. That is impressive and hilarious at the same time. You already have... Yeah, just go for City Attack 4, whatever. And... I'm thinking about just putting him out of his misery. You know what? We're going to actually take some troops around the side here. We'll put two up on the ridge. And just fortify there. And we'll take two this way. And we'll take two more that are going to go into this forest. And just to see what's over here. Not a whole lot. Resin, fine clay... Is that obsidian? Yeah, obsidian. 
That's why this city location sucks, because he could have had all these resources in the square, in the city's uh, square, if he had built on this tile. Could have had all those resources, all of it. But no, he wanted over here for some reason. I guess because he wanted the stone. Whatever. Two more guys up here. I think we'll take an extra two guys around this way. And everyone else just get into the city. Oh, someone leveled up. City attack. Just heal up. We're going to take you guys around the corner here. Um. Um. So here's a question on working with viewports. How do I send my boats over there? Into the blackness. I can't right click over there. It doesn't exist. Maybe if I center on that unit somehow? Will that do it? Yes, okay, so that does work. Just gonna go see what he has over here. He does have a lot of resources, but we have we actually have all of these resources. We have fine clay. The only things he has that we don't have is he has elephants and he has murex. So this city might be worth taking eventually. But I don't want to take anything right now. Okay, let's dump all these troops. And we'll just take our ships back and you guys can just chill in Yurek, I guess. You guys who are hurt, why don't you go heal? Since that's where the healer unit is, you might as well be next to it. Alright, you guys that are hurt, I'll take you back into the city to heal. Alright, now are there any buildings in here that I need to get rid of? That's a question I forgot to ask. Carpenter, cliff dwelling, counting sticks. Blah, 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 blah. No. No wonders, no special. Yep, nothing amazing. Alright. And uh, this will have iron within its vicinity when it grows, but... Eh. Alright, end the turn. guys are healed up. Good, good. Come over here. You guys got damaged somehow. Oh, because you attacked that dude in the forest. Right. Come over here. Basically, I want to build a defensive border so that he won't come at me at all. Uh, ships can go here. So I guess it'd be easy right along here somewhere. Yeah, one, two, three, four. So if I do those four tiles, he can't get past me. So we'll do that. Yeah, might as well. Uh, you guys 
guys can just fortify on that hill. You guys can fortify on that hill. You might as well join him, because it looks like they want to attack. Uh, you can fortify in the city. You guys are healed up. Uh, I don't want the ballistas. I will take... No, I won't take the crossbow. Uh, we'll put you guys uh, on this forest. Sure, whatever. Yeah, he's got a lot of units there. He's probably looking to attack. That's a lot of ballistas. Uh, we'll bring you to the front. Uh, you can fortify. And I guess what we'll do is we'll bring our healer up to the front. So that we get bonuses here when we're uh, healing up after they attack us. Because they're probably going to attack. They seem kind of dumb. They threw two entire stacks at us. Even when we had hills uh, defense bonus here. 35% defense bonus on our 10 strength units. And they attacked anyway. They lost every single one of their units they attacked with. So, Yeah, they don't seem like the brightest bunch. But hey, we have an extra 100 science coming in now. Now that we have these extra three cities. Uh, so that was great. Gandhi's off the map entirely. We're at our limit of 12 cities. Nobody's really unhappy. And hopefully with those crucifixion crosses, these guys are going to be cool. Uh, it says safe. I'm not sure I believe it yet. Yeah, it's, they both say safe. I'm not sure I believe it just yet. But uh, for now, sure. We'll roll with it. Oh yeah, he definitely attacked. Oh, he actually killed them! <gasps> really? Yeah. We killed a whole bunch and then they killed us. Wow. So let's, uh, three more guys on that hill. Ballistas on that hill. We'll take uh, you guys to that hill. I'm surprised he actually killed us. You guys get in the forest. Fortify. Well, he's got cojones. I'll give him that. And you guys just fortify right there. And we have a bear. Um... Let's do a governor's pets. Might as well. Okay, you guys are eventually... You guys are probably... No, we'll bring you up here. Why not? Whatever. You guys are all healed up. Put you over there. Uh, beluga. Tales of fish. Tales from the deep. Let's get sundials everywhere because they give a little bit of production. No reason not to. Um, it's kind of annoying not being able to see other parts of my kingdom. Let's go click on Oxum, because that's kind of in the middle of everything. That should move the viewport over to where we can see. There we go. City Council can wait. I want a sundial. Dance Hall can wait. I want a sundial. And it says these buildings produce hammers, but look, it says actually they don't, because we already have the buildings, the precursors, which do the same shit and provide the same hammers, so just a waste of waste of time. Alright, you're actually done with your queue. So let's add some shit to your queue, put the rhetoric in. Siege workshop, might as well. Put that in there, the glass maker. 
Uh, the Weaver's Hut. Ooh, Stargazer. I totally forgot we have Stargazers. Uh, Stargazers, Science. Build them immediately. Totally forgot about Stargazer. Serpent Mound can wait. I want my Stargazer and... Uh, Yeah, put these in there too. Because now that it hits size 6, it can do all the uh, production buildings that get unlocked at size 6. You guys are all doing stargazers and shit. Can you do stargazer at size 4? Yeah, you can. Do it. Can you do any other production buildings? Yeah, you can. Do them. These barbs are eventually going to come at me, but for now, whatever. If in other sciences we should arrive at certainty without doubt and truth without error, it behooves us to place the foundations of knowledge in mathematics. Now this alone is absolutely amazing. This one tech has boosted up our science output by 60. I mean, come on, that's that's almost a 10% boost in science just from one tech. That is awesome. Literature obviously would help out as well. It would get rid of some of the free science we're getting from Myth of the Crocodile and blah blah blah. But it would allow us to build a library which gives, I think, a 10% or 25% thing for science. So. Definitely worth doing, but we're going to go for a cheaper building first. And then we'll go for literature after that. Egypt is training democracy. Wow, she's she's getting pretty advanced. She's probably getting more beakers per turn than we are. That's the problem. Oh, this is desert tile, so you're taking damage just sitting here. Well, fortify. I don't care if you take damage. Uh, you guys... Yeah, go over there. Okay, you guys are pretty much set. We'll leave one swordsman, but the rest of you guys can come over here. Okay, you guys are building production buildings. Hooray. Can you do any production buildings? Probably not. I can do the sundial, of course. Um, you can probably do the uh, stargazer as well. Stargazer, hooray. Hey, we have 1337 points right now. How about that? What I haven't done is I haven't brought over a missionary. I totally fucking forgot. Alright, let's get a missionary. I need to see Axum, please. I need a missionary. Now. Silk Road was built in a faraway place. Damn it. Well, we don't have any access to silk, so that's not our fault. the world wonder uh, Kimos and Nage 
for thirteen thousand dollars. How about we don't spend thirteen thousand dollars on a world wonder? Sounds like a better choice to me. Can you guys do Stargazer by chance? You can do those. So let's add those to the queue. But I want to put Stargazer on top. Get some science out of here. Oh, you can do more than that. Uh, obsolete with literature, though. Uh, but it's only one turn. One turn, what the hell. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yep. Okay, and then science. Hooray! Alright, the missionary's ready. Let's bring him up to the front. Tales of Narwhal. Eh, Myth of the Unicorn, why not? And end turn? Nope, apparently not. So we have a ton of units on the front line over here. I don't think he's willing to do anything against us. Which is good, because I don't want him to. I want him to cower. I want him to think about what he's done. About what a bad person he is. Who's their leader, anyway? No, not them. This guy. Oh, it can't show us the leader, because diplomacy is not possible. So we don't know who the leader is. He's some random douchebag. Random douche! Oh, hey, the Zulus have, are now a civilized nation. How about that? Go Zulus. They're no longer a minor state. So they're probably going to be a huge rival for us because they control a ton of land down here. But that's fine. I'm not interested in a rival right now because we're at our max city limit. So. now. Still don't want an embassy. You're a douche. Alright, we got salt processing. Now I want literature. What happened? Oh. All right, Zulu captured this shit again. And we have salt. Good. All right, you've arrived. Excellent. Let's take our boats. And we'll go convert this city. get there in one turn. Damn it. <laughs> Storyteller's hut is pointless. We have literature coming. There we go. Didn't even have to get off the boat. He just converts right from the boat. He's that badass. Uh, Tales from the Deep, sure, whatever. 
More beakers. And shamanism has spread. Awesome. Alright. While defending, your Trireme 8 has killed a Barbarian Beluga. Oh no. Alright, you guys can go back. Actually... I think we'll keep them right here. That'll act as a deterrent to anyone coming through this area. Wow. More? Really? Whatever. Monastery, that's fine. Officium, that's fine. They're almost done there. Siege weapon workshop, candle maker shop. We got lots of good shit going. God, it's crocodile. Only three meter though. It's a baby. What's that? Is that salt? Oh, it's iron. You have discovered a new source of iron near Lalibella. I don't think that's near Lalibella, and I don't think that's iron. That looks like stones in the water. Wow, Barbarossa seems a little backward. Tribal chiefdom, barter, divine cult. Well, written tradition, that's fine. Whatever. No. Go away. No! Go away! Dumbass. Alright, finally we're getting some high walls. Shark. Scary. Did we build the serpent's mound here? I thought we did. No, go away. Where's the serpent's mound? Oh, it got pushed underneath all this shit. Eh, it should be fine. Hey, high walls finished. Yay! Can you do anything else in here? Stargazer's hut? Definitely. I eh, might as well throw that in too. What's this? No, I don't want a mercury mine. That's pointless. Put in the carnival. What's this? City gatehouse. Hell yes. So a city gatehouse is actually a building that hurts trade. Uh, it costs a lot, it adds stability, it hurts trade by 30%, but it really is a good building. It helps thwart rival spies, you get better defense against espionage, and uh, it does damage to people around you, so or enemies that stand around you, so that's good. Put in that too, and that too. 
just whatever. Ancient Embalmer, sure. Whatever. Whatever. There's a lot of buildings we have to build here. I'm just waiting for literature to finish so we can queue up libraries everywhere. And just get that done at one fell swoop. Because right now we're sitting at 800 science per turn. And adding... Oh, something just happened. But adding libraries is going to skyrocket our science. Alright, what just happened? Wow, he just attacked us. With a whole bunch of shit. Spearman, Spearman, Javeliner, 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 Archer, Maceman, Maceman, and a Narwhal. <gasps> you used a Narwhal on us. Uh, sure, City Attacker 4. Did we even take any damage? Nope. All four of our guys have taken no damage. Wow. I want to move a couple of these douchebags. No, I don't want all that. I want this guy, not that guy. This guy, not that guy. This guy, not that guy. But it deselects them. You know what? Just select all of them, and I'll turn off three of them. <gasps> oh, it's amazing! How did you do that? Magic. Alright, so that was dumb. He attacked us with like 10 units and he lost them all. We didn't even take any damage. Poor guy. Alright, two turns of literature. We're almost there, baby. And we're almost done with his world wonder, too. Our swordsman looks so badass. I would not want to fight these guys. Borders of Bombay have expanded. That's nice. Some books are to be tasted, others to be swallowed, and some few to be chewed and digested. Now we're talking plus five beakers. Okay, so it's not a percentage, it's just a flat plus five beakers. But it also enables heroic epic, plus 100% military production, uh, national epic for great person birth rate, the great library, which gives free scientists and ten beakers. Madrasa, I don't think we have the right culture to build those. Uh, Hotri Library, World Wonder, you have to be Siamese though, which we're not. Yeah, there's just some special requirements for certain buildings, which is cool. So certain cultures, only certain cultures can build certain World Wonders. I like that. Anyway, let's get in and build some libraries. Uh, da, 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 da. What's cheap? Cloud Patterns is cheap and it gives us food. Sounds good. I like food. Alright, we're going to go through our entire list here. This is Axum? Yeah, it is. Alright, Mr. Axum. I want a library. And I want it now. Ishikari. Library me. Ooh, the lag. There we go. Pitchan, library me. Gondar, library me. Antana, library me. Aruk, library me. Oh, the game crashed. Great. All right, well, see you next time.